Greetings Laddingtons, this is a follow-up video to the book review I wrote on the Hermetic Tradition. Now, if you don't read all of my book reviews, no worries, I don't judge you at all, it's fine. Well, okay, I judge you a little bit, but uh, it's all good. Now, anyway, I thought to mention something when we're talking about the Hermetic Tradition, so this is a book about alchemy by the way, and I wanted to point something out, and that is that you can view alchemy in a few different ways. So this book, when he's talking about alchemy, when Julius Evola, as, a, as an esoteric master, he's talking about alchemy, what he means is a metaphysics and spiritual teachings. So this is not about the pseudoscience of, you know, turning a certain metal into gold, that there were some you know, charlatans back in the day during the Middle Ages, they claimed to be able to do this, but um, yeah, we now know that uh, they, they couldn't. Then of course you have alchemy as the humble origins of chemistry, so the modern science of chemistry. So you have basically three different things that you can view alchemy as. The charlatan pseudoscience, a spiritual, a collection of spiritual teachings, or the uh, the humble origins of modern chemistry. What this book is and what is interesting to us, what is interesting to me in my journey for, uh, in my quest for esoteric knowledge, that is of course the, the spiritual teaching within. So perhaps you read my book reviews on introduction to magic. It's quite, many teachings are similar. You will recognize some teachings in here if you have read um, Introduction to Magic because of course they draw quite heavily upon the teachings of older mystics and, uh, and alchemists. So basically something to keep in mind here as well that which I mentioned in the book review by the way first link in the description box below. In the cast of characters I name a few different alchemists that Evola he draws uh, upon their teachings to uh, to explain alchemy. Now, these individuals, they were also quite accomplished in other areas in terms of philosophy or medicine and uh, stuff like that. So you had, of course, many charlatans, pseudoscience, but you also had many, many men who were interested in alchemy as a spiritual teaching, and that is what I found interesting as well. Now, when you see certain alchemical symbols, you see a symbol for gold or salt or um, mercury, sulfur, whatever it might be, the formulas, they aren't to transform actual material things such as sulfur or salt. It's uh, metaphors for what's going on here. So you can say that it's not about finding gold or creating gold, it's about finding God or create... It's about finding God within you or finding the, the animating life force or whatever we shall call it. So that is what alchemy is about, and when they're talking about, you know, separating, separate these substances, it can be to separate soul, body, spirit, and then joining them again, liberating something. So it's quite similar as to certain teachings you find in um, Hindu metaphysics, in Hindu spirituality, which also brings me to my second point. This will be the book review, the next book review I... Uh, right and I've read some of it already and um, yeah I can see that the uh, the Hindu spirituality and the um, the teachings of the alchemists yeah they are similar in uh, in many ways and as you all know I meditate every day I do breathing exercises so getting a bit more deeper into it is um, is highly interesting so anyway I just wanted to point that out that you have you can view it in in three different ways alchemy as uh, the origins of uh, modern chemistry as um, pseudoscience for charlatans and then most importantly for us a set of spiritual teachings. So anyway if that all sounds interesting check out the book review and uh, thank you for watching I will see you in the next video. XOXO boom!